So, you've probably heard about morning routines. You know, they set the tone for your day, allow you to create healthy daily habits, and are the perfect way to be mindful in the mornings. I do love a good morning routine and how it allows me to feel centered before my busy day of being a college student, content creator, and business owner. I've had this consistent routine the past three weeks and have really loved it. So I'm sharing with you today, not for you to copy or feel like you have to do exactly, but for some inspiration for you to create your ideal morning routine. But being honest, this past summer, I was off my game. I was out of a routine, would wake up each day without a clear direction, and that's fine. It was nice for a change of pace and the summer season. However, as I swapped out the seashells for pumpkins, I started craving consistency. And with a busier schedule, I needed to get back into my routine. So here it is, my 7 a.m. fall college morning routine. So even though I have a different class schedule each day of the week, I still try to wake up at the same time every morning, which is 7 a.m. I put my phone across from my bed so that right when I wake up and my alarm goes off, I can't immediately hit snooze. I find it's just easiest to kind of lay there, listen to my alarm for a little bit as I collect my bearings and realize where I am. And then I take a big gulp of water that I always have next to my bed. And then I get up and turn off my alarm and try to just get moving. I really prioritize sleep. So even though I am getting up at 7 a.m., I usually will go to bed between 10 and 11, so I at least get eight hours of sleep. Then I immediately love to head over and open up my blinds and let that fresh light in. I feel like this is what really wakes me up is realizing that other people are up and it is daytime. So I also take the liberty of opening the blinds in our living room. And then for me, it's straight to coffee. No shame. It's what I love. So I have a Nespresso Latissima and I just put in the little coffee pod, brew this, um, and then I also will add in some creamer. I always add in a little bit of plain oat milk and then whatever creamer I'm enjoying at the moment. I love almond milk or oat milk creamers. Since it's September, you know I have that pumpkin spice creamer. And then recently I've also been topping off my coffee with a little bit of cinnamon or pumpkin spice spice, just cause I can, you know, and I love a yummy, sweet and spicy coffee. If I have time in the morning and I'm wanting to set the mood, I will light a candle. This one is a pumpkin latte from Target. And then now it is time to have my quiet time. I sit in this super cozy chair in the corner of my room and this is my peaceful time. I love this in the morning. So this is my morning devotion spot. Sometimes I do this and just drink water and have my coffee after. And sometimes I will drink my coffee while doing my devotions. It kind of varies based on the day. This is my She Reads Truth Bible though. I've had it since like sophomore year of high school and I love it. It's kind of faded, but I love this Bible. And sometimes I'll follow a devotional. Sometimes I'll just read a chapter of a book in the Bible and like journal about it. I had been reading Acts, but I finished Acts. So I think today I'm just gonna read kind of a, a random Psalm and think about it, maybe a few Psalms. Um, and then I also have been loving the habit of journaling every morning. So I just have my little journal and I'll sometimes use a prompt or I'll journal about what I read in the Bible or I'll journal about prayers or I'll do gratitude or my goals. Like it kind of varies on the day, but I usually like to sit in this chair and spend time in the word and praying and journaling for 20 minutes usually. Um, I'd say it's the average, but sometimes it's longer days I'm in a hurry it may be shorter but usually about 20 minutes is how long I sit right here. If I have extra time after I finish my devotions sometimes I will read a nonfiction book. Right now I've been working through this book called The Emotional Entrepreneur and I love it. It's from Scout Sable. She's a podcaster and owns a marketing company and it's really really good if you're an entrepreneur. It's like a workbook as well which I love. 
What may surprise you is I don't immediately make my bed right when I get up because I actually heard from Michelle Reed and other places that you can kind of let your sheets breathe if you leave them undone. So instead of making it right away, I leave my sheets open and let them kind of breathe since I was just sleeping in the same spot for eight hours and then I'll make my bed because I do think it's important to make your bed in the morning. It just sets the tone for your day um, and there's a lot of research about this as well. It's just a great way to kind of get started and not fall back into bed. It's also nice coming home to a made bed. You just feel accomplished. So on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I have to be out of my house by 8.30. So this is when I'll just make breakfast, pack my bag, get dressed, and head out the door. But on Tuesday, Thursdays, the day I film this, I have a little bit more time. And so I'm able to get in a morning workout. So I'll grab some workout clothes. I love my set active sets. Sometimes I feel confident and comfortable just wearing a sports bra and leggings to my apartment gym. Some days I don't. This day I was feeling confident though. So I didn't put on a shirt over top. I just have my APL running sneakers and this is my set active set in the color espresso. And then I put on my Apple watch and head down to my apartment gym. It's seriously the nicest thing being able to just walk downstairs to the gym and not have to go anywhere. It saves so much time. So today I did about 10 minutes on the stair climber to kind of just get my heart rate up and warm up my glutes. And then I did about a 30 minute glute and legs circuit. So it kind of varies day to day. I get my workouts from Pinterest or YouTubers or really anywhere, but I just had a 15 pound weight and did some different exercises, like I said, for about a 40 minute workout total. I'm usually never in the gym for more than 45 minutes. I just feel like 30 to 45 minutes is perfect for me. Again, I don't do this every morning. This is just a few times a week. So when I get back, I shower and you know put on actual clothes and then it is time for breakfast. This varies, but for the past six months, I've been loving savory breakfast and one of those is the basic avocado toast. But I've been spicing mine up because I've been loving tomatoes, especially in August when they were in season. Oh my gosh, they tasted so good. So I sliced some tomato on top of my sourdough bread and add a ton of salt and sometimes everything with the bagel seasoning. Another breakfast idea is a skillet hash. So I will always have two eggs when I make eggs. And then I added this on top of pre-made potatoes I had from dinner with some hot sauce, lettuce, salsa, and cheese. Oh my gosh, so good. So I definitely switch up my breakfast, but a lot of times you'll see me having eggs, toast, and avocado somewhere in there. This day, since I didn't have eggs, I actually just added some chicken sausage with my avocado toast. So you'll see me eating that. Ah. I got dressed after my shower. Now I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Um, kind of random today because I'm out of eggs, but that's okay. Got our proteins, our healthy fats, our carbs, a little bit of vitamins from the tomatoes. And this is actually such good lighting, I should film here. While I eat my breakfast, I I'm sometimes in a hurry, so I'll scarf it down, but a lot of times I like to sit and eat it and listen to a podcast, watch a YouTube video, call my mom, and I eat. I'm gonna listen to the What We Said podcast. I just love JC and Chelsea so much. I feel like we're best friends even though I've never met them or talked to them. Get that water. Then I will enjoy my breakfast. I think it's so important to have well-balanced meals like I talked about. So make sure no matter what time you eat, you're getting some well-balanced meals in your day. So did my makeup and my hair. I just ran a straightener over my hair because I slept on it weird kind of. I do like putting on makeup for during the day. I don't do much face makeup. I'll just do like eye makeup mainly because when I'm wearing a mask in class, that's all you can see. Um, so I do my makeup, light hair, take my vitamins. I've been trying out the ritual. This isn't sponsored. I bought this with my own money. I know they do a lot of sponsorships. And I just take two of these a day. It's the cutest little container put it in my bathroom. I still have about 30 minutes before I have to go. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work, uh, which is so nice on Tuesday, Thursdays. I have time to do some work in the morning. So I either need to work on my taxes, or take some content. <laughs> and I think I wanna do the content route. I also plan my day each day in my planner. This is my self-designed planner called the Dream Achieve Workbook. So I love this because on the left-hand side of the page, you have your to-do list. So I'll write this ahead of time. I'll write assignments I have the week before. So I always know what's coming. And then the day of, I'll add in other things like maybe work out, five appointments, work stuff I have to do. And then on the right side of the page, I have a time blocking section and I love time blocking. It's what makes me most productive. That's why I included it in the planner. I 
write the time of day I wake up and then kind of an hourly basis, I write, I'll write what I'm doing. So whether I'm in class, I'll put that down. When I'm out of class, I then decide what hour I'm going to do each task on my to-do list. And I've said this before, but even though I don't stick exactly to the schedule every day, it's really nice to just know what I have to do and if it can actually fit into the hours of my day so I don't get overwhelmed and I actually know what I can accomplish. These are on pre-order, but coming back in stock so soon. So I will have the link below. If you want to pre-order your Dream Achieve workbook, you can do that. All right, so I made a second coffee. Two coffees in one morning routine. Dang. I'm going to drink this later, actually. It's about 10.15 now. And it's a little bit lighter than I like, but I didn't want it. I wanted to, like, fill it up all the way. Probably drink this, like, in between my first class and second class. And then I also... I'm taking a goat macro bar. This is kind of my lunch, which sucks, but I literally go from one class to the next and to the next. So I have no time to eat. I'm literally eating, like scarfing these down in between classes. Don't know why I did that to myself. Just give yourself a lunch break. I'm telling you now, but I'll eat this. I'll have a bigger snack or kind of a lunch when I get home around four or I'll just start making dinner, one of the two. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to take with me to campus to kind of get me through my long day of classes. I'm obsessed with this cup. I got it in Disney in February. It's a Starbucks cup, but you guys know me. I'm obsessed with Cinderella. She is my favorite princess, and it has her castle on it as well, which is the castle in Magic Kingdom there. So, love, all right. I'm gonna pack my bag. I then will pack up my bag, which usually includes my laptop, especially if I have to do an online oh, class from stop. campus, headphones, all the notebooks and books I'll need for classes, my planner, my snack, my water bottle, wallet, all those things go into this bag. This is the base work tote. I recently switched from using a backpack to using this tote. It's so heavy on my shoulder carrying it, but it looks so much cuter and I just feel actually like a senior and not a freshman when I use a tote around campus instead of a backpack. Here is the full outfit. This cream tank is from Zara. I love it. Love it. It's so comfy. Jeans are also Zara. They're the regular fit. It's the only ones that fit me lengthwise. Got my Veja sneakers on. Veja. I've had these for like three years. Still don't know how to pronounce it. And then this little blouse, which I think is so fun. It was one of my favorites of the summer. It is from Princess Polly. Rings, necklace, earrings, Anna Luisa. Watch band is Target. And... Let's go to campus. I also always take this huge hydro flask with me. So I drink two to three of these in the complete day. But um, yeah, this also goes, makes the bag super heavy. And I'm out the door. I know that this morning routine was long. It was a few hours. And I know not everyone has the luxury of doing that in the morning. So I just wanted to stress here at the end that take idea, take inspiration from this morning routine, but don't exactly replicate it unless you feel like it would work into your schedule perfectly. This is just to give you inspiration to figure out your morning routine and what works for you in the time frame that you have, with the habits that you want, with the priorities that you have. So that's what I encourage you all to do right now. If you don't already have a morning routine, write one out, the steps in it, and start tomorrow. That's the amazing thing. You can start tomorrow and then try again the next day. And I promise that once you get kind of into the routine, you're going to fall in love with it and then tweak it based on, you know, if anything changes in your life. You don't have to keep the same morning routine every year. I change mine up like every season. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. my father.